Hey guys, what's up? We're back with some more Warframe action and today we're going to have a look at the new Dojo customization options. This is basically Dojo 2.0. So thankfully with the uh, introduction of Dojo 2.0, you don't have to restart building a Dojo again, which I kind of was worried about because it would be totally illogical and would make everyone mad. But obviously they haven't done that. So, you know, you can just basically continue to build on what you have. Uh, so there's, all, there's a few things to talk about in terms of Dojo 2.0. The first thing is that you now have a free camera as if you're using Captura so you have to basically fly around and uh, decorate things as such which does make it easier to decorate things uh, from very far away for example the ceiling as a, as opposed to before because you don't have to stand on the ground and then sort of eyeball everything from down here so to uh, to uh, bloody uh, ambos, I don't know if you can hear it. Anyway, in order to, uh, uh, you know, add something to the uh, to the ceiling, for example, uh, you just need to basically choose whatever it is you want to add to the ceiling. So if we, for example, we will add a, uh, uh, a banner. And then, uh, you know, you get all these options to cho change how you want to position things. So, uh, billboard facing, I'm not 100% sure what that is. Pull, push and pull. Um, I don't think that works with uh, with this banner. But anyway, what you can do is you can press F uh, to use free placement, and then you can just basically place it wherever you want. Obviously, because it's a banner, it won't be uh, won't be uh, by itself as of yet. <coughs> uh, you can also rotate it, which I will do in a bit. Actually, I won't use this. I'll use a different thing. Um, Maybe that banner is actually not not good. I'm I'm looking for a banner that's uh, good for hanging on top of hanging from the this one. I think. Yeah, it should be this one. So what we could do is change the uh, rotation axis, which makes it really easy to uh, specifically choose uh, one of the um, uh, one of the rotation axes for your for your item to be. Uh, facing because I like to have everything facing 90 degree angles or 45 degree angles depending on like what it is I'm trying to do. I like everything to be facing the same way so having that 45 degree snap is uh, really really useful. And yeah like you can just just do that then you just contribute as, <clears throat> as per usual. And you move on to the next thing. So let's have a look at some of the uh, options that we get when we're placing something. For example, we can now place some fog. <coughs> so here we have some fog. So the first thing you can do is you can aim to place. That's the first option. The second thing you can do is you can ascend and descend, but that appears to be the um, uh, the the camera itself. Next thing is the rotation. So the rotation um, doesn't Obviously, it doesn't really work with fog, but it will work with uh, banners and such. By just holding the right click, you can use the rotation axis to change the way you want to rotate the item. So that way you have 100% control, like pinpoint 100% control over the item that you are rotating. Alternatively, there is a billboard facing thing. I don't know what that is. Uh, push and pull. I still don't know. Still don't really know what that is. Um... Now, let me just check. Oops. Uh, let's, let's, let's add a decoration like a Buddha. So, push. Oops. Yeah, I don't know what push and pull is at the moment. Uh, you can alternatively make it bigger and smaller. So, that's by holding R or alternatively using uh, plus... And minus on the numpad at least for my uh, for my settings uh, you can you can change everything you could also put things up in the air so it's not you don't have to like that's that's a thing right like this is a thing so you can have things floating in the air which means you don't have to build things on top of each other and then delete the items that are below it. You can now just straight up put things in the air and also this is a thing that you can do in the orbiter as well so you can uh, you could have flying eidolons if you want. Uh, alternatively, uh, you can 
yeah, there's also free place free placement, which is a lot better than snap pa placement if you're uh, if if you're interested in putting something in the air or if you know specifically where you want to put it and you're very good with your aiming. Cycle grid snapping is specifically to do with the grid, so that like everything can be sort of placed next to each other in a neat in a neat tidy fashion, as opposed to free form where everything is just kind of going all over the place. And then otherwise, it's basically the same notion: just place it somewhere and then build uh, the things, uh, like contribute the required resources in order to build it, and then you're good to go. So. Uh, I'm gonna put that here, and I think we're gonna no, not pitch. Roll, yeah, that's right, roll. There we go. Yeah, there we go. So that means that these two need to kind of move a little bit this way. This needs to kind of move a little bit this way, and there we go. See, perfectly aligned perfectly aligned so that's like really really useful uh, in terms of uh, what you can do with uh, with placing decorations and this is the same with the um, with the orbiter as well which will make decorating just so much easier in my opinion especially like especially for me someone who likes to have everything neat and tidy and preferably aligned to some to some extent uh, I feel like my I've always felt like my banner is a little bit off so uh, Let's see. Yeah. So yeah, this this makes this makes my OCD like so much better. Like for example, this is a tiny bit off, but yeah. Oh crap, that was a mistake. Uh let's just put this back where it was. Let's put that there. Uh let's let's move this fire over over here like that. And uh, yeah, so this is a fire, right? So there, there's some new decorations, for example, fire. Um, there's uh, there's Grenier and Corpus stuff now. So you have things like uh, the Corpus, I think I saw yeah, the Corpus computer, which is kind of pretty, it's actually pretty dope. So you, I can just drop one like, is that middle? Is that the, is that the middle? I think so. I think that's the middle. Yeah, that's right down the middle. So yeah, Corpus computer, that's pretty dope. Uh, Let's, let's actually build that. <clears throat> Alright, uh, there's also some Grenier items as well. So, for example, there's a Grenier uh, catwalk rail, catwalk uh, stairs. So you can actually build additional stairs uh, with, with this update, uh, which we could, for example, do right here. Um, Actually, I don't know if you can... You'll, you'll probably be able to walk on these stairs and then... Um, I don't know, there might be a Grenier platform of some sort. Or maybe even a Corpus platform? Corpus Corporate? Corpus Catwalk Stairs? Catwalk 6 meters? Ah, see? So there's Catwalks as well, like that. Which you can probably attach like... Oh, that, that's a miss. That's... Yeah, so you can... I think that's a miss. Uh. Yeah, that's going to take a bit of time to get into, but yeah, same same idea. Just Put it together, something like that. I don't know. It's a little off. It will require a little bit more time, and then you could just like build another platform, and hopefully you can walk on them. I'm assuming you can walk on them because it would seem a little bit silly. I don't really want those actually. But yeah, you can put stairs. You can put extra uh, catwalks. You can uh, put in some rails. So that's all, that's the thing. There's now fire, fog, electricity. Um, yeah, there's like special effects of that of that kind. There's more Grenier stuff, and uh, yeah, like there's just a bunch of things. Steam even. So there's a bunch of things you can um, add to the dojo, which is really really awesome. Uh, in terms of new rooms, there doesn't seem to be any new rooms as of yet. Uh, 
the build your own uh, obstacle course is not quite ready as of yet. That's going to be coming soon. And then there's another thing to do with the dojo that is really important, which is that the observatory has received a new update and that it is actually functionally... U Whoa, what did this? Oh. It's now functionally useful. Also, you can access your arsenal now uh, in, in the dojo, so you can uh, dick around with that. I actually didn't notice that there, so I didn't actually put that there. That's been there since the update, evidently. Uh, is that around in every room? I'm not 100% sure. Let's go to the home and half of House Yami, and let's just have a look. So it's not in that corner. Uh, no, it's not around the... It's not along the side. No, no, not there, not there, and there doesn't seem to be one there, but you can still look at your equipment through your arsenal, uh, well, which is actually the arsenal attached to your observatory. Oh, that's right, yes, the, uh, the uh, update, the patch notes mention that you need to have an observatory in order to be able to use your arsenal. And also with your observatory comes the star chart. So you can now access your star chart through the observatory, meaning that the observatory is actually functionally useful. It's no longer just this awesome looking like panoramic, super sexy uh, diorama kind of place. It is actually a functional room. It also, uh, I, I assume it also works if you squat up. So you can use the observatory as a staging grounds for your, for your clan if you really, really want to. Uh, yeah, so, you know. That's kind of neat, uh, otherwise you can always just use it as a place to just stare out into space because the uh, space skyboxes in, in Warframe are always very, very um, awesome. Although this time it looks like our clan is nowhere near a solar rail, uh, so that's unfortunate. Uh, in the meanwhile, in the meantime, I wonder if the, uh, actually no, the the old gods lab has not received any changes as of yet yet correct yeah the armistice is still happening so yeah still happening all right so anyway hope you guys enjoy this if you did hit the like button uh if you really liked it maybe consider subscribing to the channel and until next time i will see you guys later thanks for watching Bye. Uh, let's just put something on at the top. That's something I've been wanting to do, actually. Something to hang from the top. Where is that? Tenno banner, banner. That's not the right banner. It's, 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 I think it's like this banner. Do this banner. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Hang on, let me just... Yeah, perfect. Alright, bye!